for Dorn. Was that it? Well, it could be for the rest <laughs> of this week, but we'll take a look at that. I'm going to show you where we could see a little bit more rain before the week is done, and uh, those areas that could be impacted in those areas that more than likely aren't going to see anything. So currently, 67 degrees. We have some rain from this morning. Uh, still a chance for a few isolated showers this afternoon, but more than likely we're going to be done with the rain. No more rain in the rain bucket around Sacramento. Southwest wind blowing at six miles per hour currently. And uh, elsewhere in Stockton, we have 73 degrees, partly cloudy and mostly cloudy skies, and winds are currently light around Stockton. Modesto currently 72 degrees, southeast winds at 5 miles per hour, and plenty of cloud cover overhead. And that's going to impact our temperatures. Fairfield currently 64 degrees. We have a west wind at 5 miles per hour. Humidity is running high under mostly cloudy skies. But I kind of like this look at this time of year. Lake Tahoe, 49 degrees. Lots of cloud cover with a southerly wind at 14 miles per hour. And there's also some wind gusts in the Sierra. So look at Truckee and Lake Tahoe. We have wind gusts of 18 miles per hour in Truckee and gusts of up to 29 miles per hour out at the airport there at Lake Tahoe. Doppler, again, not a lot of activity going on. Most of the rain has moved on through. Still a few scatter showers you can see to the north of I 80 in through Sierra County. And we're looking at some scatter showers through Placer County, right in the midsection of Placer County. That's where the Heaviest rain is currently in, and a few scattered showers. You're working your way through El Dorado County near Pollock Pines, and then up the hill along Highway 88 near Kirkwood. We're still seeing a few little scattered showers. Satellite view shows this weather pattern. More clouds are going to be with us as we go through the night tonight, so we will see the high cloud cover. No precipitation is expected tonight, but there's another weather system that's lurking out in the eastern Pacific. That's going to be working its way into Northern California as we head towards Friday. So Thursday is going to be a dry day. We still have that flow coming in off of the Pacific that's going to help to keep our temperatures down, cooler air in place. And look at this line of rain off the coast as we make our way through Friday morning. It's going to stay off the coast. By Friday in the evening, it's going to be hitting the coastal areas of California. Again, not a lot of rain, but we will see that chance. The best chance will be in the coastal mountains. And then as it pushes through Saturday morning, we'll just have the cloud cover. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see much measurable rainfall, but that's again our next chance for rain is going to be coming on Friday and into Saturday morning. Sierra weather pattern. We are expecting still a few scattered showers. In fact, as we go through the day today, as we get some breaks in that cloud cover, we could see some isolated showers popping up in the mountains. That's going to be your best chance. And we have the gusty conditions today also around Truckee and Tahoe. Partly cloudy skies on Thursday will still remain with those clouds. Temperatures warming up into the lower 60s. We stay that way through Friday with partly cloudy skies in 62. Again, it's going to be into Saturday that we'll see that cloud cover move on through. And again, even there, I don't expect to see much of a chance for any showers in the Sierra at that point. Seven day forecast for the valley. Our best chance for rain was this morning. Things will be drying out as we make our way through Thursday. Friday, a few more clouds. Again, as that weather system pushes through at the latter part of Friday and into Saturday. But once we get into the weekend, as that little weather system moves on through, temperatures start to warm up. So we'll climb into the upper 70s on Saturday. By Sunday, mostly sunny skies and 80 degrees. And then another chance for rain moves in on Monday. And this looks like it's going to be a better chance with temperatures dropping off into the 60s, Lisa.